In the last months and within the three months period that uh, assumed office as Customs Area Controller of Apapa Port, the command has maintained steady growth in all areas of our operations. Upon assuming office, we ensured full implementation of the CGC's trust of time release study to facilitate trade without delay. This move has yielded outstanding results which re reflects in our revenue collection. For the month of July 2024, the command generated the sum of 201 billion, 853 million, 406,964 naira 61 kobo. This is the highest monthly collection in the history of the command. I'm optimistic about the possibility of beating this record as we look forward to surpassing it in months to come. For the first seven months of 2024, that is January to July this year, the Apapa Area Command generated a total of 1 trillion, 227 billion, 431 million, 332,016 Naira 24 Kobo. What has been generated so far for seven months is above the total collected revenue by the command in 2023, which was 1,172,414,793,960 Naira 32 Kobo. In clear terms, our 2024 seven months collection is above last year's 12 months total collection. Worthy of note is the interventions from the Tariff and Trade Department, which has contributed immensely to the successes achieved so far. Our compliance desk dispute resolution team, valuation unit, PCA, and the CIU, as well as other units aimed at promoting seamless trade have been reinvigorated with daily, weekly, and monthly evaluations by my office to oversee the progress we are making. We are committed to doing more in line with the directives and motivating examples of the Controller General of Customs, Bashir, Adewale, Adeni, MFR, DSM, PSC, Daga. A Papa Area Command handles the highest volume of trade for the Nigerian Customs Service and collects the highest revenue and therefore is saddled with a higher degree of expectation from the management of the Nigerian Customs Service and the government. The command is also enjoying the support of sister government agencies and cooperation of compliant port users. Recall, uh, we met with our stakeholders before the commencement of the nationwide protest to assure them of customs availability for work during the period. I'm pleased to note that the turn up had been encouraging and work has been going on unhindered. Finally, let me advise our port users to embrace only legitimate trade and restate that this command is more alive to its responsibilities to detect all forms of concealment and block any avenue for revenue leakage to the BRS minimum. Thank you for your attention. The revenue collection uh, is indicative of um, the structures that had been put in place by the CGC, uh, Bashir Adewale, Adeni, MFR, the SNPSC, Daga, just as I mentioned earlier. And uh, we have ensured he has, he has ensured that we're always on our toes because uh, Papa, uh, just as we mentioned, is a premier pot. And uh, uh, we also ensure that uh, we comply fully and block all avenues for leakages. Uh, if I may stress, for the period of July last year, 
uh, the total number of uh, declarations we had for July was 30,284 declarations. 30,284. And uh, for July this year, the total number of declarations was 27,308. So you see a gap of about 3,000 declarations. And if with less declarations, we are able to collect more, it shows that, uh, the, that uh, a lot had been brought to bear on the manner in which this revenue is collected, most of which I will attribute to the uh, CGC and his management team.